All right, everybody. So the new Sonic Frontiers trailer dropped, and I gotta say, I'm looking a lot more optimistic than many are in general. Like, I liked yesterday's trailer too, but there was a lot of concerns that I have and still have those concerns. But we got the new combat trailer today, and I actually really did enjoy what we saw. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. So let's get into my full thoughts, and I'll give you guys my reaction as well. So yeah, we got the combat trailer today and really all of Sonic Twitter yesterday was like freaking out. Like they were saying, oh, this game looks mid, this game looks ass. Some of the criticism I think was warranted. Some of it was just like, yo, I feel like you're nitpicking just a nitpick. Some of the biggest issues with the game, honestly, in my opinion, is the momentum and physics. Like why is Sonic so slow? Like they missed the biggest opportunity to just slap Adventure Sonic in an open world or even give him like a proper boost and just make him go super fast and really see what this character can do. Like that is very head scratching to me. I don't know why they did that or why they're using the forces movement. But that's like my main criticism. There's a couple other things we'll get into later on in this video because we'll do like some pros and cons. But there's a lot of things I like about this game and a lot of things that look promising. I'm not going to lie. There's also some evidence that this could be an earlier build. And here's what I mean by this. So in the official gameplay trailers, we see Sonic with the short quills. But if you look at the cutscene that IGN showed us in the beginning, it's a completely different model. I'll show you guys a picture right here. So fear not, this looks like there is a possibility that it could be two separate trailers or maybe two separate builds. We really don't know. And honestly, for me, I got to play this game to make a judgment and based off of what i'm seeing so far i actually did like it many people are mixed on it though so let's kind of get into what we just saw today so the question is like is frontiers redeemed i think we should all be a lot more optimistic you know what i mean one thing i will say is that the combat definitely looks really fun the combat looks very in-depth it looks better than any combat we've ever seen in a sonic game this isn't sonic unleashed button mashy although the combat could still be button mashy it looks like you have to kind of react to what's going on in the environment for example the enemies have shields so you kind of have to be aware if they're in shield mode and if you want to take off their shield it looks like you have to do a spin cycle to remove it and then you can actually harm the enemy but while you're homing attacking and punching the enemy they'll also throw his shield at you which can still damage you while you're hurting him so it's not just like straight up button mash you have to react to stuff it's not mindless zombie combat it doesn't look like entirely difficult but it looks like you gotta kind of use your brain to play the game you know what i mean and if you guys look you also see sonic can lock onto enemies and he can dodge left and right and do like a backwards roll dodge so that's very like legend of zelda-esque so like this combat system is very different than any Anything we've ever seen before and there's a little bit of life to it you know you really do kind of have to like think about what you're doing in certain scenarios plus he has like so many different abilities there's so many that you see just in the trailer alone and i'm sure that there's more they have to show us as well the finishing abilities also look very like cinematic as well you got that like dark aura on sonic like yo this looks cool guys you can't tell me that this doesn't look at least promising and better than what we saw yesterday and i counted sonic probably has at least like seven different moves he has the spin cycle the homing attack the punch the kick he has like the karate kick he also has like the dark aura just to name a few he also has a spinning kick as well wait that's like eight so there's at least eight different moves there's gonna be definitely experience in the game i don't know if you guys noticed in the combat trailer we saw the xps in the game there's gonna be rpg elements so it looks like this game is gonna have a lot more than meets the eye like the first trailer that we saw of the open world yesterday seems to be like they were just trying to show off the world and just show off some of the activities you have and today was just the combat and it looks like we're probably going to get a couple more trailers as well because we also have confirmed Firm news that we're going to be getting more showcases this Tuesday. I'll link the post right here. It says, we'll have much more on Sonic Frontiers as our month-long IGN first coverage rolls on, including the world's first hands-on preview, whatever that means, interviews with the game director and Sonic Team boss, so Izuka, and more. Check back on Tuesday for the next drop. So the optimist inside me is saying that, yo, we gotta see more gameplay. They're gonna show us more stuff. Think about it. We still haven't seen Cyberspace yet. Think about it like this. What if Cyberspace is 8 to 10 of the best boosting levels you've ever seen in the sonic franchise the best levels from generations and the best levels unleashed combined on steroids not saying that's gonna happen not even saying cyberspace is confirmed but what if that happens though what if you have eight to ten of the best sonic levels ever in the franchise that is gonna make this game infinitely more appealing already and that could totally flip the entire narrative about this game so i feel like we got to see everything they want to show us because there's so much that we haven't seen yet until i make the true proper final judgment and i already do like the open world because i do feel like there is a lot to do in it a lot of people have been saying the world looks empty that is complete cap that is not true there are so many different platforming objectives that are scattered throughout the world with a reward at the end of each one i counted so many when i was doing my trailer reaction and analysis so you guys should go watch my live stream because i literally talk about it for like an hour there are platforming objectives everywhere scattered throughout the world and yes some of those sections are a little bit automated but we only saw like two or three of them and it looks like the world is full of them every time you complete a random platforming objective it rewards you with like a purple heart a red heart 
or like some of the fruits. Like this game seems like it has a lot of collectibles and currencies and you have to explore the world and complete all random platforming challenges scattered throughout in order to unlock them. So it's like this game is going to be a completionist dream and based off of the very, very short stuff that they showed us, including the puzzles as well. Don't forget about those. The world is definitely not empty, especially when you consider some of these giant monsters you have to fight throughout. It looks like there's always going to be something to do. So I completely disagree with the world being empty. If you think the world is empty, then open world is not for you. Think it's Zelda Breath of the Wild. You think that world is full of stuff? I love that game. That game is awesome. But a lot of people, when the trailer of that game came out, said the same exact thing we were saying. Oh, the game world looks empty. So that stuff is cap. That is not true. Just had to throw that out there. This might be a total Optimus victory. If you watch this trailer today and don't feel any better about the game, then I just truly think that open world probably isn't for you in the first place, which is okay because the Sonic franchise has rebooted literally eight times. At this point, they've separated us into adventure fans, classic fans, boost fans. There's even storybook games. We got like the Rush series, the DS games. And then there's just a fan that's a total contrarian that just like likes the most random games. So if you don't like the game, it's not for you. I get it. Totally makes sense. But I think we are in much better shape right now than we were yesterday because even look at these giant Titan boss battles. Like this brings a lot of flair into the world. Like this is something we've never seen before. And it looks like it's going to take like two to three minutes to even complete one of these battles. And if you look right here, the giant Titan also drops another collectible, which is like another collectible you have to get in the open world. This is basically going to be like a Sonic open world RPG type game. And this is a game that is right up my alley. I love games like that. You cannot sit here and tell me this game reminds you of Forces. It looks nothing like Forces. Forces is a hallway simulator. This game is actually fully 3D. I don't see any 2D yet. Just the sheer amount of like collectibles that you can get. Plus there's at least like four or five different biomes we're going to get to explore. Like we have not really seen much of what this game has to offer. We've probably seen like 10% of it. So there's a lot in store. IGN even said it themselves. There's so much cool stuff that we have not seen yet. Gameplay is coming Tuesday. This may even be an early build based off of some evidence that we've seen. So stay optimistic. It's still not over yet. Now there are some issues with this game. Let's get into the cons real quick. Let's talk about some of the stuff that I don't like. First and foremost, like the animations are super duper jank. I'm not someone that sits here and micro analyzes animations. I really don't care what they look like. I've seen people micro analyze some of the dumbest stuff, but you look at something like this where Sonic's literally just standing in midair and some of the other janky animations, like when he's wall running, you can kind of see it just doesn't seem very coherent. Like, yes, that's an issue. I get it. It's kind of a disgrace because this game has been in development for so long. If this is going to be the final product, which we still don't know yet, but that's a problem. But obviously the biggest thing in a Sonic game is movement running around. As you guys know, I am a huge Sonic Adventure fan and Sonic Adventure is a great game because of the free flowing controls, momentum, and physics. You've probably heard me say those words a hundred times, 200 times, 300 times throughout the lifespan of this channel and it is nowhere to be found. And I think it's over for momentum and you want to know why? Because look at the combat trailer. There is a dash pad going down a hill. Now, why in the world would you have a dash pad to bring you down a hill? It's not the first time that it's happened in a Sonic game, but shouldn't your momentum carry you down this hill? And if you look, he uses the dash pad to go down the hill and he's still slow to run up the hill. So maybe there is some semblance of momentum in physics, but we don't see it anywhere. And if you look at the first scene of the tower, when he starts rail grinding, literally there's no momentum that carries him. It seems like there's literally none to be found. And I was really hoping to see a spin dash in this game. I was looking to see like the proper homing attack. I feel like if you plopped like Adventure Sonic into this world, I feel like it would still work. Maybe add some of the parkour mechanics and optimize some of it. But it looks to me like it's probably not coming, guys. This game's coming out in five to six months. So unless this is an older build, this probably is what we're gonna get. And it makes no sense because it feels like you would want them to show you the best product available. What we just saw is what we have to judge the game based off of. Using the early build excuse is kind of cope in my opinion. It's certainly possible and it's certainly in the back of all of our heads, I'm sure. But we have to judge what we saw. And the fact that there's really no speed, physics, or momentum is a huge concern. I was literally sitting there in my first reaction. You probably hear me say it like three or four times. Where's the speed? Where's the speed? When is he gonna go fast? And that's not there. And honestly, that is a very, very big problem with this game. This isn't perfect and I am very optimistic and I still do like what I saw because like I said, the game has the open world RPG elements, which is my type of game. I can't ignore the fact that Sonic goes super slow. I can't ignore the fact that some of these platforming objectives are automated and movement should probably be the number one priority in a Sonic game. Like there's no doubt about that. That should be above all things good, but I still, you know, I still like what I see. I still think the game has a ton of promise and we still haven't seen that much yet. In terms of wanting speed, cyberspace can definitely do that for us. Although I'm not the biggest boost fan, it would certainly spice up this game and add a lot of flair to it and give us the speed because we have to have speed in a Sonic game. There's no way he moves this slow throughout the whole game. Maybe you could also level up Sonic and make him go faster because of the RPG elements and the XP, but we'll just have to wait and see about that. But yeah, I'll say, you know, Sega's gonna Sega. Based off of the 
current build they showed us, do I think this game is like store ready? No, I don't think that. And there is definitely a lot of problems with this game so far. It's definitely a shame and it's definitely concerning. And we're gonna have to see more. Like that's the biggest reason why I'm optimistic is because they're gonna show us more. And it seems like there is a lot more to this game than we are being led on. So let me know what you guys think about that down below. Let me know if you think Frontiers is gonna be good. Let me know if you're optimistic like I am, if I change your mind. But I got nothing else to say to you guys. So until I see you next time, peace out.